Behind every successful funding round, there's a pitch deck. You only have one shot to win over an investor, so your story, slides, and whole pitch process need to be on point. I'm Jessica Holzbach. As a serial founder, I've been through the highs and lows of fundraising, from pre-seed to series B. I co-founded Penta, the neobank that successfully exited to fintech unicorn Conto in 2022. Now I'm building Pile, the neo treasury platform for startups and VCs, but I've also been on the other side of the table. As an angel investor myself, I frequently evaluate pitches and guide entrepreneurs towards success. It's fair to say that I've seen some of the best and the worst pitches. Now I'm sharing my secrets to help you ace yours. First things first, let's recap why you need a pitch deck in the first place. Think of it as a roadmap that guides your audience through your business idea, numbers and market opportunity. Here's why it matters. It's fundraising etiquette. Investors expect to see a well-crafted pitch deck as part of their due diligence process. It challenges your story. Building a pitch deck forces you to question and refine your business case. Is the market opportunity clear? Are your numbers strong? Is your story coherent and compelling? It puts you in control by covering essential information and anticipating potential questions in your deck. You lead the conversation and make it easy for investors to make informed decisions. It trains your pitching muscle. Preparing a pitch deck helps you internalize your story, enabling you to confidently present your ideas on every occasion, from media interviews to podcasts to conference panels. Now that we're clear on why you need a strong pitch, let's dive into how to build it. A common mistake I see is that founders recycle their sales pitch into their investor pitch. But your investors are not your clients. Instead of simply describing a problem and your solution, you will want to present a thesis that draws a clear path from investment to return. Here's how you can structure it. First, identify the potential. Highlight the opportunity in an emerging category you're tapping into. Next, show you have what it takes. Convey how your venture will lead in this space. Emphasize your team's expertise and market knowledge. The investor should trust that you have everything you need to succeed accept their money. Finally, set expectations for future growth. Investors want to back ventures in markets that will flourish in the coming years and explode in valuation. Showcase the potential growth and scalability that will lead to additional value-boosting funding rounds. A strong thesis is the foundation of your pitch, so every slide in your deck should align with and support it. For example, your team slide doesn't exist to show off your shiny new headshot. It's an opportunity to validate your market knowledge. Remember to keep your pitch as concise as possible, but as comprehensive as necessary. A lengthy pitch deck is overkill at the pre-seed stage, but you'll provide more comprehensive insight as your startup matures. With your deck put together, you probably can't wait to approach every VC out there. But there's one crucial step that founders often overlook. Before you deliver your pitch to all investors, try it with a few selected ones to see if it works. The best way to go about this is by starting with friendly investors first. These are the ones you already know, had multiple touch points with in the past and can transparently ask, do you mind talking with me through my pitch? Take their feedback, see if it resonates, and if it doesn't, adapt and refine it. A winning pitch often stems from multiple iterations. Avoid tailoring your pitch to appease specific investors. Instead, deliver a consistent message that truly represents your vision and thesis. An honest pitch builds mutual understanding and sets you up for a productive relationship. Finally, the time has come to deliver your well-rounded, field-tested pitch to even more investors. Here's the secret sauce to leave investors with a taste for more. A dash of FOMO. Imagine your startup as a restaurant. Investors are passing by looking for the best food in town. Don't be that empty restaurant that leaves people skeptical. Make them wonder, what's all that buzz about? Why haven't I secured my seat yet? 
It's a common misconception that different investors are in constant competition. In reality, they talk with each other all the time. And no one wants to invest alone. Use that to your advantage. First, target those who have already shown interest when you first told them about your venture. If they're excited about your pitch, chances are high they'll get the word out. They might even give you an intro to another investor. A positive reaction from early interested investors can attract others by creating a sense of urgency and reducing skepticism about investing alone. Now, let's explore what to look out for during the pitch process. Don't delegate the pitch. Multiple C-suite members may be on the call, but the CEO should be in charge. Investors want to see a capable leader who knows the business inside out. Avoid the lead investor terminology. Nobody wants to be the lead investor because they're afraid the case might not work, which would harm their reputation. Plus, labeling an investor as the lead could make others feel like their second choice and hurt your chances. Treat all potential investors as equal partners in your venture. Choose your investors wisely. Be selective about who you approach and bring on board and opt for those who understand your market and vision. As hard as it is, don't just go for the money. The wrong investor sitting on your board can destroy your business. But a supportive, aligned investor is a valuable asset in the long run. Lastly, beware of mainstream investors. I'm talking about the type to abruptly change opinions based on market trends. For example, last year, many investors suddenly switched their focus from hypergrowth to profitability, almost overnight. You'll be better off working with level-headed investors who will allow you to adapt to market trends with reasonable transition times. So there you have it, the three essential steps of a successful pitch process that I witnessed as a serial founder and investor. First, build a compelling thesis to showcase your startup's undeniable potential. Second, perfect your pitch by trying it with selected investors until it resonates. Third and last, fuel the FOMO to ignite excitement and attract investors to join your journey.